Hi. Today with us we have the one and only President Will Martino, the president of Cadena. Will, how you doing? And thank you so much for taking the time of stopping by and having a small chat with us. Before starting things off, let's start with the simple things. And I guess to kind of dive in, could you please explain what Cadena is in simple words, maybe to somebody who might have never heard of it before? Yeah, and thanks for having me, Ray. So Cadena is known as the blockchain for builders. We are the only scalable proof of work layer one protocol that's ever been invented. And it is able to scale uh, without having any of the limitations that um, a lot of the other proof of stake projects have run into around either security or decentralization or scalability. I co-founded Cadena back in 2016 with Stuart Popejoy, who uh, I met at JP Morgan's Blockchain uh, Center of Excellence. We helped to form it, found it, and build JP Morgan Coin version zero. And Cadena has been built on top of a novel architecture that is, has been created to make tools uh, for blockchain that will work for business. That's always been our strategy with Cadena ever since we founded. We uh, did tons of research for JP Morgan, uh, specifically regarding long-term industrial adoption of blockchain technology, and walked away with a raft of questions that we knew needed to be answered if we wanted to see true adoption by about 2030. And we you know, kind of looked at each other and said, you know what, let's leave and go and build this to realize that future. And that is our goal. Some of the words have changed over that path. Now we talk more about Web3, but our goal yeah, with the newer language is definitely to make Web3 easy to use and as intuitive as, as, intuitive as Web2 is, and as generally used as we've seen you know, Web2 become. This is the reason that we'll be able to actually deliver blockchain technology to the industry at a large scale. And we're not reinventing blockchain here from scratch. We are taking the ideas and the concepts that have already founded the or provided the foundation of blockchain technology and the growth that we've seen so far and innovating on them. We're fixing small parts, making sure that things can actually scale to long term adoption and also making it easier for builders long term to be able to build apps that are truly secure and don't have the host of smart contract issues that we've seen thus far. Fantastic. And so also considering the recent trend to move from proof of work to proof of a stake system, are there such plans within Cadena? And if not, why? It's a great question. It's one we've gotten from the start. Uh, so proof of stake was initially pitched as being able to provide industrial scaling for blockchain. And we actually haven't seen it for some very good, but also very uh, specific technical and uh, just computer science related reasons. There's this thing called the trilemma, which really only applies to proof of stake. The reason that we've stuck with proof of work and that we're sticking with proof of work is besides that from a security and a decentralization and just a foundation point of view, proof of work works is because we actually were able to figure out how to scale proof of work and scale it in such a way that we aren't limited in the same way that we would be if we moved to a proof of stake network. Proof of stake has gone from you know, being for uh, being able to scale for industrial adoption. And then from a marketing point of view, it's been moved to being more green friendly. The problem with proof of work isn't that it's energy intensive. The problem with proof of work and blockchains like Bitcoin are that they can only do three to five transactions a second globally. And that's all they can ever do. With Cadena, we can scale the network without requiring much more use of energy to hundreds of thousands of transactions a second, if not millions. And by solving that, we don't see a reason that we need to move to proof of stake because we already know that it's secure and it's the foundation that underpins all of blockchain and cryptocurrency today. So, of course, the recent bear market affected cryptocurrencies negatively. What is your price analysis or possible price prediction for KDA, Cadena token, in broad strokes, of course? I like to look at the macro picture more than anything else. And also, I like to remind people when they ask about this, the roots of cryptocurrency itself. Bitcoin came out of a, you know, largely a annoyance at what the Fed was doing with quantitative easing back in 2008. And as someone who studied, uh, you know, monetary theory back in uh, school, I was also of the opinion that this was going to be a difficult thing for the economy to bear. And it turned out that things were more stable than we thought they would be um, in the nearer term. But now we're finally starting to see the inflationary effects of that policy shift. So from my point of view, 
this decade is the true test of blockchain technology and cryptocurrency because the things that it was that it kind of uh, you know drove cryptocurrency and you know Bitcoin and followed by the rest of the space to be created. Those things that drove those events that caused it to happen, they the ramifications that were you know supposed to have happened earlier are now just starting to happen. So I think that you know, from a macro point of view, I'm very bullish on cryptocurrency this decade period. I think by 2030, we'll see much wider adoption. And I think largely that's going to be driven by macro forces because we're finally going to see the test of, okay, what happens if we print unlimited money for you know, 15 plus years? And now we're starting to feel that bite. So will the total supply of KDA is fixed at 1 billion tokens to be mined in over 120 years? What is going to happen 120 years? Is there a plan? <laughs> I love this question because it means that, A, I'm 150 years old at that point. Uh, so, but even if I'm not around to be able to, uh, to have to deal with what happens, it means that we've solved global warming, we've solved the energy crisis, we're probably on Mars, if not also the moon. So is there a plan? It means that cryptocurrency has won and that Kadena is probably, if not the dominant player in the space. It's one of those things that I believe it's very possible to deal with when we get there. And with that 100 years that we have, 120 still that we have, we'll be able to collect the data that we need to be able to say, okay, uh, can a cryptocurrency be completely fee driven? Or does it need to have some small mining inflation rate? And we'll be able to have enough, we'll be able to have 120 years worth of data to be able to say, you know, which one of those is the correct trajectory. So I designed our token economic model. And the reason that I added that 120 year period was so that we would be able to have sufficient data and assuming that uh, you know, Kadena is still relevant 120 years from now, we'll have the data and we'll also have the moral authority to be able to do what needs to be done to address it so that it no longer has you know, 120 year lifespan. And well, this is an interesting question I would like to say. Could you please tell us a bit more about the Kadena Eco Grants program? Absolutely. This is one of the most exciting things we've been doing this year. Uh, we're, we recently announced a $100 million grant program to fuel the adoption for Web3 innovations. And we've committed 10% of our program to assist the builders of uh, the Terra ecosystem to be able to migrate to our blockchain. Our grant program is a gateway for builders to get started with Kadena. And we also uh, offer an accelerator, an incubator, and venture funding. Uh, Kadena is a great partner for founders and developers uh, looking to get involved with Web3. We encourage builders to learn about us at Kadena.io. I think it's one of the strongest signs for our entire ecosystem. And it's one of the ways that we're actually still growing as a company right now, when many other companies have had to either freeze hiring or actually uh, start to do you know, large scale layoffs. We're actually growing very considerably, specifically in the Kadena eco front. And of course, before we leave you off, are there any other news you would like to share about Kadena? I think that Kadena Eco is definitely the biggest one. Um, you know, we have many other initiatives that are going on this summer, uh, but it, they're really focused around Kadena Eco and around bringing either lending platforms or bridges or zero knowledge into our ecosystem and bringing more and more tools for builders to be able to take Web3 into the future that we all know that it's going to happen. Will, thank you so much for taking the time for stopping by and having a small chat here, hopefully for a bright future for Kadena. And thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Make sure you keep yourself up to date with the latest finance news on all of our social media channels. And of course, maybe support that future investment decision. That's all. Thank you.